Hi, uh, Professor Lamb here, and uh, you're watching another PyPad Mathematics video. And this is uh, on a problem. Uh, Mark Driscoll uh, did uh, foster and algebraic thinking, and he adapted uh, a crossing the river problem and then put this into his program. Uh, and it, it, what it does is it says you have eight adults, you have two kids. You're trying to get them across the river, and you have certain rules associated with that. Now, there are there are a number of problems associated with crossing the river, uh, or uh, various uh, problem-solving uh, challenges. Uh, one of the most famous is uh, cannibals and, and missionaries. Uh, it was referenced back in the 1960s at the joint conference between NCTM uh, and uh, Mathematical Association of America and what we have here is uh, you can use your iPad and some of these same kind of brain teasers if you will uh, are embedded in some of these crossing the river type problems and I have a few apps that, that I have open uh, that I like to show this one's called River Tests uh, River Tests Pro and uh, what River Tests Pro does is it has a number of these uh, scenarios. You got a farmer here needs to bring a wolf, a goat, and a cabbage across a river. The boat's tiny, can only carry one passenger at a time. Uh, if he leaves the wolf and the goat alone, the wolf will eat the goat. If he leaves the goat and the cabbage alone, the goat will eat the cabbage. And how long will all three safely cross the river? Uh, so. You know, that's one problem. You have three soldiers, uh, two boys have to cross a river without a bridge, and the boat is so small it can only hold one soldier or two boys. The soldier and the boy can't be in the boat at the same time for fear of sinking it. And uh, so there you go. Um, it can hold. Uh, so, you know, you have this scenario. You put a, you put a kid on. And you put one kid on and you cross the bridge and then you got to put the kid right back on and you got to cross the bridge again well you can put two kids on and then then you can cross the bridge and you can put one kid on and crosses the bridge and then you can put an adult on and crosses the bridge and you can put the kid back on and crosses the bridge then you can put both kids on cross the bridge and you can put one kid on and cross the bridge and you put an adult on, or a soldier on, cross the bridge, put the other kid back on, cross the bridge. And then you put both kids back on and cross the bridge. And then you put one kid back on and cross the bridge. Then you put the other soldier, the final soldier on, you cross the bridge, put the other kid back on, cross the bridge. Then you pick up the other kid and put him on the boat, and then you cross the bridge. Or not cross the bridge, I keep saying cross the bridge, cross the river, uh, and then, then you do it. And, and it's this problem that is exactly like the one in Mark Driscoll's book. Um, this three soldiers and two kids problem is very similar. No, it's identical to the one in, um, uh, in Driscoll's book, Crossing the River Problem. So what we have is we're trying to figure out if you had eight adults. Okay, so there's one. Let me undo that. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight adults, and then you got two kids, and you have a boat that can only hold one adult, one kid, or two kids, and um, and so that's the scenario, and you're trying to find out how many, how many one-way trips. So when I put two kids in the boat and they cross the river, how many, uh, and and then they cross the river back that would be one two one-way trips how many of these one-way trips does it take to get everybody across the river and that's where the problem solving comes in is that first you do an activity to where you're crossing soldiers off I'll save this I go back and so you have three soldiers on there and you're trying to get them across the river and you need to find out how to get them across and once you do that like I modeled earlier then you need to record what's happening so the first step is to put two kids on the boat and then cross the river well so you record that two kids go across one kid comes back then one adult or in this case soldier goes across one kid comes back 
and now you have an adult that has crossed the river. So going back and when you're recording this, what you're doing is you're noticing is that first thing is two kids go across. Then one kid comes back and then there's a one kid sitting over here on the on the dock. Now you put an adult in one adult and he goes across she goes across and then the one kid comes back and you're left with one adult over here so how many trips does it take to get one adult across the river well it takes four trips it takes four trips to get uh, one adult across the river now how many trips would it take to get eight adults across the river well four trips per adult it's going to be four times eight which is 32 trips but once you do the 32 trips and let me show you here once you do the 32 trips then you're going to end up with two kids sitting over on the side so let's do this so we did four this is going to be five trips or all right, let's go so that was one this is two trips this is three trips and then this is four trips so it took four trips to get one soldier across we'll do it again two kids over that's one trip one kid back that's two trips one adult over that's three trips and one kid back so that's four trips so it's four trips per adult in this case there were three adults so therefore that was twelve trips and now you have plus one more trip to get these two kids across back across the river. So what we have is a rule that says when you have forever many adults, it's four trips per adult plus one trip to get the two kids back okay to get the two kids across the river so the idea of the rule is going to be 4a plus 1 it tells you how many trips there are the number of adults times 4 because it took 4 trips to get an adult across plus one more to get these last kids uh, or the kids back across the river at the end um, so there you have it uh, it's uh, again it's not a uh, an uncommon problem but it's a problem that then results in a rule and you can change the number of adults you can say well how many trips would it be for 25 adults and two children well you would take 25 times 4 gives you 100 plus 1 and you get 101 trips uh, so this is crossing the river and um, uh, the apps I use this was explain everything and then the river test pro so, again, I'm Professor Lamb, and this is PyPad Mathematics. Take care.